Some more positive news in the race for a COVID vaccine. The Oxford-AstraZeneca trial is showing promising results in older adults. Final trials could be complete by Christmas. It's encouraging to see that we're not seeing any severe reactions, um, we're not seeing any unexpected reactions, and I really hope that gives confidence to the, these vulnerable groups to, um, to, to take up the vaccine. Australia has ordered more than 30 million doses of the vaccine, most being manufactured in Melbourne. And once a vaccine is available, 59% of Australians say they'll definitely get it. ANU researchers asked more than 3,000 adults whether they'd have the jab. 7% of those surveyed say they probably won't, while another 6% say they definitely won't roll up their sleeves. The study found women are slightly more hesitant to be immunised than men. For a breakdown on what this means, let's bring in Dr Tamara Hunter now. Tamara, we're hearing a lot more about vaccine trials. How do these actually work? Well, to see if these uh, experimental COVID-19 vaccines are both safe and efficacious, researchers uh, recruit tens of thousands of individuals and they put some of them into research groups to receive the vaccine and some of those into what we call placebo, placebo groups where they get a saline injection. Now, um, all of the participants and the researchers are blinded to who gets the vaccine and who gets the placebo. The data is firewalled against the companies knowing who gets what and expert analysers look at the data using uh, scientific statistical techniques. Now, the people who get the vaccine or the placebo, they're not given the disease. Obviously, that would be too risky, but instead they're encouraged to go out into the community and just live their life as per the instructions, social distancing and masks and so on. And then over time, the researchers look at who gets infections and who doesn't. And the aim is to basically stop infections in the vaccine group compared to the placebo or even reduce the severity of infections, but even more importantly, prevent that infectiousness to other people. So the, the Pfizer vaccine that we hear so much about is said to be 95% effective. That's, that's positive, right? Well, that efficacy analysis was really interesting. They found in the seven days after the second dose of the vaccine that 170 people out of 44,000 people included in the study got the infection. Now, you wouldn't think that's a particularly large amount of people being infected, but 162 of those infections were in the placebo group, whereas only eight were in the vaccine vaccine group and that is a statistically significant difference. So 95% efficacy means that the reduced risk of infection with COVID or sorry the risk of infection with COVID-19 is 95% reduced in a vaccine compared to a placebo. Right so we just heard that 59% of Australians would get the jab. Does that seem low to you? Does it surprise you? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, usually vaccine trials take several years and this has all happened within the span of this last 12 months. So I can understand from the general public perspective that they're a little bit cautious about this. I think those numbers might change as we start to see vaccines implemented globally and the, fe the effects of the vaccine. Um, maybe if we see, see more infections here in Australia, maybe if we see more lockdowns, more circuit breakers, people will get a bit of uh, pandemic fatigue. So Australia is buying different vaccines from different trials. Will both be made available or will the nation need to choose one? Yeah, I think uh, it's a little early to answer that question. All the vaccines are still in phase three trials, meaning that the safety and efficacy is still being examined. Um, there may be issues with supply because these are going to be available globally, so there might be a bit of competition there. And all of these vaccines are going to have to pass our Therapeutic Goods Administration, with, which is extremely strict. So I don't think we're going to be putting our eggs in one basket, Jerry. All right, Dr Tamara Hunter, thank you for explaining that. We'll see you next time. Okay.